day YouTube what's going on and here again so today I'm just out here on a nice straight run well sort of straight just gonna do a speed run on 2s and 3s on my JJRC Q117 everything is gonna be stock standard on this the only modification that I've done to this is made myself a new battery hold down plate for a 3s battery and you can see that on my short if you like I'll put a link to that down below but uh, today we're just going to uh, get this running and uh, see how we go. All right, so here are my two batteries, my 2S and 3S, both at 1500 milliamps. We're going to run it uh, in here today. So obviously there is my battery holder, that the original one that comes with. So that is for 2S, obvious reasons. And there is my 3S. So you can see that it's much taller and it's going to fit in there for my 3S battery. Now they do recommend that you shouldn't be running these on 3S, but you can. I'm not sure how long it's going to last today by doing a speed run on this. Uh, but I'm not a big fan of them because they are a two-in-one combo. It is a good thing that they still have a three-wire for the steering servo. But when you do change them, obviously you need to change your transmitter as well. Because you will need a separate uh, transmitter and receiver to maybe run on top of here somewhere or wherever you can find to mount it but uh as always stock motor in there 2847 4000 kv motor it's got a wheelie bar so i guarantee this thing is going to do some wheelies on 3s still spongeless foamless whatever you want to call it, tires and you know obviously friction chockers as they are put a little bit of foam here to protect the um the body but I've already broken the front shock tower because of my terrible landings and I'm not the best basher. All right, so got in my 2S, so we're gonna get the body on and we'll do a speed run on this one first. All right guys, got the 2S in there, speedo's on, it's on peak, it's on zero at the moment. Let's see how we go. I'll try and face it this way, because uh, I think a little bit of sunset at the moment. sure that trim's right it's going a little bit to the right so we'll just trim that up so it's nice and straight oh, it's a little bit too much Gee, it's very delicate on the remote all right let's turn this around all right let's see how we go full throttle all right it's full throttle All right, let's see what we've got. Bring it over here. All right, we've got a top speed of 55 kilometers an hour. That's 55 right there on 2S, not too bad. So let's see now how we go on 3S. All right, so I've got my 3S in there now, guys. And as you can see, I've got my battery plate on there now. So a little custom plate that I made. All it is is just about a one millimeter like uh, thin metal or tin that I've just uh, bent and shaped into place trying to follow the same sort of uh, design as this one this one still sort of this one slips into where the uh, the pinion and spur is in there so same concept but obviously just sits a little bit taller and it's more secure and I've just run a little bit bit of double-sided tape there with a little bit of sponge underneath so it doesn't have it a hard impact on the on the metal there not that i'm going to be bashing this today but uh yeah there you go guys that's just a custom made um battery plate there all right so we'll get the cover on on this we'll turn it on there you go you can hear the three beeps we know that's running on 3s now make sure we're all good steering throttle all right we're going to reset our speedo we're going to stop that and record all right we're back on zero Let's take this one out. Let's see how we go. Right, we'll go the same way because the sun is setting. There's a little bit of camber in this road, so I'll try and compensate for that. Still drifting a little bit to the left, but it's not too bad. We'll stay straight. All right, let's turn this around. Keep it off the snake's eyes. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Nice and straight. 
and come back. Please, oh, bit of a mono. Right, let's do a pass going the other way. <laughs> I knew something was gonna happen there. Oh, there goes my GPS. I oh, still got power. Oh God, what have I done? Oh, I just broke my GPS. It was too, it was too back heavy. Oh no, look at that. Wonder what I got, I still got power. Yes, look at that. I don't know if you can see it guys, 85 kilometers an hour. Don't think I was gonna get any faster than that. But there goes my GPS. <laughs> Might be able to save it. A little bit of glue. I think we should be okay. So I've scratched all the, the back wing. I'm not fussed about that. I know that's gonna happen anyway. All on the roof there. I've lost the body post. But I've still got power. Still got steering. Oh, still got power. All right, 85 kilometers an hour. It just did reset. That's not too bad, guys. I'm happy with that. My GPS did survive. Um, I obviously did have it at the back. So even though it's not super heavy, it's still gonna make it a little bit weighty. Plus this thing does wheelies now because of the 3S. But the main thing is, it's actually survived by going that fast. The My, my combo ESC there has actually survived. So it hasn't blown yet, like other people's have, but um, that's a good thing. So I'm gonna get this uh, zip tied back up and we'll try and do another pass on it, see if we can get better than 85 kilometers an hour. Peak and recording. All right, let's do another pass on this. All right, let's try again. Man, this thing's a little weapon. Still just pulling to the left a little bit. Slow down the jewel rate too. All right, let's see how we go. Get it off those cat's eyes, nice and straight. Here we go, it's coming up. Slow throttle, full throttle. Lovely, nice and straight. All right, let's bring it back. Go back the other way. Give me some signal. Oh, you mongrel. Flipped over, didn't it? Guess who's going for a walk? Me. Better bring my car keys on my phone. I don't trust anyone around here. Oh. All right guys, 85 is the top speed. I think that's the best we're gonna get with this little car. I think other guys and my mate Saul from RC Crazy, um, I think he's got the same speed as this. So I'm not sure if, he's, if he got anything faster with the different ESC that he put in. I'll have to look back on his on his video. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment and don't forget to hit that bell for the next notification. So thanks for watching guys. I was happy with the outcome. 55 on 2S and 85 on 3S. So uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's my own PB for this little car. But um, also, before I forget, the 2-in-1 combo did hold up. So that's not too bad. Like I did give this a beating and that was full throttle all the way, but I'm surprised that it actually has held up. Normally they pop on uh, initial startup or they pop on after a couple of runs here and there, but uh, this one seems to be okay for now. But uh, we'll keep on playing with it on 2S and 3S and we'll see how we go, but it definitely will be getting a uh, new ESC for this one. So once again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.